What's going on everybody? We've got a fun meme coin to talk about today and this is called Spooky. Spooky Solana over on Twitter. Almost 1,500 followers. This is a newly launched cryptocurrency over on the Solana blockchain. Spooky the Phantom. We're going to dive more into that in just a moment. You guys can find the links to this down in the description below. So as usual, if you want to go do research, you want to join their community, if you want to go buy this yourselves, you can find that in the description below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So yes, over on Twitter at Spooky Solana, about 1,500 followers, very, very new. This posting on March 14th of when they pin this, it does have their contract address. So you can find that directly on their Twitter posting. But we can also see that there's a nice little show of love from the official Phantom Twitter account. This account right here at Phantom, about 470,000 followers. We can see in this thread that it started with Vibe God saying, really impressed with Phantom's UX UI. Had an older family member not only be able to create a wallet, they used the help documents to import the wallet from mobile to desktop and use cross-chain swapping with no instruction. Keep on seeing their offering for Bitcoin ordinals. And then we have this response from Pick, who says, also, their social media management team is skilled in marketing at Phantom, the fastest wallet in the universe. Hope someday I'll get their reply at Spooky Solana team member. And you see that Phantom did respond to this. They showed some love. So it's nice to see that it's on the radar for Phantom. We can then also move over here to the official website. This is spooky.vip. And it gives you the links to their different socials if you're trying to track this on Dex Screener, on Dex Tools, and it looks like the uh, Coin Gecko and Coin Market Cap are in the works, trying to have that come soon. Then also on their documents page, if you're trying to get links to, or not links, if you're trying to get access to their assets, for example, uh, the brand assets are here. As far as for the links go, we do see things like the Jupiter Exchange, Radium, if you're trying to go buy this, as well as links to some of their socials and those charts we were talking about here just a little bit ago. You can also see that on the left-hand side. So let's actually go take a look at the price chart. What is going on with this cryptocurrency? On the daily, we can see that the first day was a meteoric rise. The next day had even further gains before it did end up pulling back. But it didn't just totally crash. There was buy pressure that came back up once again. It did close out in the red. Then we see the next day was red, volume way less than the previous day. And then each day the volume has been going down. But what you'll notice here is that this is a nice little green candle going on compared to what was the... Uh, actual depth on the candle the previous day, and look at how little the volume is overall. So this has a potential to start making a recovery. We are starting to see other cryptos make recoveries here on the new day. Over the last 24 hours right now, it's technically down 17.31% compared to the previous day as of the time of me recording this video. And we guys, uh, you, can, you can see right here that we have $134,000 in total trade volume. That's 65,000 on the buy side, 69,000 on the sell side. Let's go ahead and pull up the Fibonacci retracement. This is a nice little tool that I love to use when I'm looking at my technical analysis. And so with this being a newer based cryptocurrency, TA is a bit harder to rely on, but I still like using certain indicators that I feel give us some good ideas of where some of the psychology still plays at. So for example, with the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that right now we are trying to break above that 0.786 level. So that would be resting at three zeros, then 1276. And then if we go down here to the baseline, basically where this all got started, you're looking at its initial launch price. So uh, that's what, five zeros, four zero one two, roughly. Hopefully it doesn't go down that far. If this does break above this level, the next major zone I'd be looking at is 2284. Ironically, we do see that the wick had bounced off of that back on March 17th. And same thing, you guys can see that the wick here on the March 16th candle is in this upper zone. The bottom wick rests right around the same on the bottom zone, the 0.786. And we can also see that comparable with the previous day. On that very top point, the very bottom point, you see why I love the Fibonacci so much? So really, really love this tool. And guys, this looks like it's starting to make a little bit of a recovery here. And with so little volume, <clears throat> doesn't need much of a push for it to really start to get some public sentiment behind this once again. 
volume looking really good, guys. Uh, over a hundred thousand dollars pushing close to $150,000 with that low showing on the charts itself. There's a lot of money that could come into play with this. The liquidity is about $90,000. So ideally we wanna see that more. Um, the market cap itself is at $1 million. So it's hanging in there. It's a newer launch cryptocurrency. If you think that everything's gonna be a billion dollars immediately, that's just unrealistic. But it's got a fun little gimmick to it. Spooky, the Phantom over on the Solana network. What do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you guys are looking for a crypto exchange to do leverage trading, I do have uh, the crypto exchange Marjex. My referral link is down in the description below. Make a $100 deposit or more, you get a $50 bonus. You can find out more if you check out my other video on my channel. But in short, they can do anywhere from 5x to 100x leverage trading. It's available in a lot of regions. If it's not available in your region, you can use a VPN. There are a lot of people that do that, but I'm not saying that you should do that. Guys, that's what I got for you in this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, like button. God bless, and we'll see you in the next episode.